Hey, I'm back. It is Goose. It is on with the show. And yeah, I've been away for a little while because uh, I've got a lot of things going on. But um, I there've been so many things popping up. Um, you know, so within the last week or so that I have had to, uh, I had to get in today, and I had to get in the office, and I had to start talking about them. I have got to start, and I know this has been a topic that has been um, talked over and over and over by other people. Uh, which is, of course, Jack Doherty and his fabulous accident in his McLaren. Uh, we're going to, but to see, I'm not going to talk about just that accident. I'm going to talk about the, the topic of today is Jack Doherty and, and how he's going to, he's, he's in trouble. I think financially, this particular accident just highlights what is already the fat cherry on an ice cream sundae that has been his disastrous life within the last year or so, uh, especially financially. Because I'm going to go into a lot of the financial reasons why I think Jack Doherty is done. Uh, but before we get started, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, like that video, like that video, hit the, hit the like button, share it out to those uh, those around you who would be interested in finding out more and more about. Uh, about on with the show, but let's get started. NBC News headline: Influencer Jack Darty crashes two hundred thousand dollar McLaren while driving in live stream. The YouTuber and streamer who has been banned from Kick following the incident has was seen looking at his phone before hydroplaning into the highway guardrail. Let's go. Uh, let me just show you the clip I was able to obtain of this incident. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Oh, Michael! Are you okay? No, he's bleeding, Holy dude. Fuck. What do you think? <laughs> he's not doing okay. Oh he's my bleeding. god, bro! My whole Dude, that Bro, my whole fucking car, bro. No fucking way. Oh my gosh. There's no fucking Michael here. Here, take the camera, get my good side. Go on that phone too. No. Alright. So <laughs> let's piece this together, shall we? Uh, you see at the very beginning, he's looking at his phone. Big no-no, especially while you're driving. It's especially even worse when you're driving in the middle of a rainstorm, which is what he was doing, driving in the middle of a rainstorm. It's even worse when you're about ready to hydroplane across the freeway. And if you can, if you hear it again, if you hear it again, here, I'll, I'll even play it again, because, um, the dude... Basically, if you hear it, he sped up. Let's let's watch this again. Dude, it's going down, man. I can't even see through the windshield. Here he goes. Yep, speeds up here. There he goes. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh, Michael. He should, okay, he puts the camera okay? on Michael. Michael's bleeding. Holy fuck. No, he's not okay, dude. Oh my god, bro. My whole... Bro, my whole fucking car, bro. No fucking way. Oh my gosh. There's no fucking... Here, take the camera. Here. Michael, you have to film on that phone, too. So you can hear him speed up because when it revs up, it's gaining RPMs. So it means it's speeding up. So he's speeding through a rainstorm while looking at his phone and live streaming. All right. So a lot of the people are sitting there, and I'm sure people are sitting there thinking, well, you know, this insurance company will take care of it. Um, probably not. If, if I'm not mistaken, I think his I think his insurance company because his insurance company for his renter's insurance is State Farm. So I would think that his insurance for his automobile 
would be State Farm. And all State Farm has to do is like just look at the live stream, look at the footage, and go, yeah, dude, we're not covering this. We're not covering this. Your $200,000 McLaren is totaled. There's a separate video where it gets get I was watching where it's it's getting on the back of the of the flatbed, and he's going, "What a great you know, what a great way to start my day." You know, two days before my twenty first birthday. Well, it it, it, is, it is it is hard for anybody to feel sympathetic for Jack at this point because let's admit it, Jack, you did it to yourself. You weren't paying attention. You're. I drive for a living, okay? Or I used to drive for a living, and I've driven in. in I've driven in in a, in, a, in, a, in a number of instances. I, you know, I've driven in uh, in fog. I've driven in pouring down rain. I've driven in lightning storms. I've driven in snow. You know, when it's snowing. In some cases, you can kind of drive normal, but when it's when it's like that bad, you kind of like want to drive 10, 15 miles slower. You don't want to take out your high-speed sports car and drive through a rainstorm looking down at your phone, reading the comments on your live stream, what, the dude shooting the camera can't do that? You, you're, there's no way. So there's no way now that State Farm or whatever his insurance company is, is going to pay for this. They might give him a little bit of something. What is interesting about this whole thing is that, is that of course, he was... No pun intended, but he was kicked from kick. All right, the the streaming service, they booted him off. They they you're you're, you're gone. You're you're you violated our policies and you're permanently banned. Of course, you know I've seen video of him, kind of like, nah, I'll get back on. It'll be okay. Which which leads me to one of the things that I was talking about. I mean, financially, this doesn't bode well. Financially, this is a really big hit for him because that's. A, 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 that's income that's now gone. That's a stream of income that's not that's no longer there. If there's one thing Jack Doherty was smart about, it was he had created multiple streams of income through social media. He had accounts everywhere where he could, you know, basically live stream here and show videos here and put stuff out here, and and he was and he's making multiple. Streams of income that way. Smart. That, now that, that's that's pretty smart for a twenty year old to do that. The problem is now, is that one of your streams of income is gone. Kick has decided we're not putting up with this. You violated our policy. You're permanently banned. And of course, he's sitting there thinking, "Oh, they're they're not going to ban me. I'm one. You know, I'm Jack Doherty. I'm one of their top. I'm one of their top. You know." Influencers, they gotta put. From what I've heard from other people, um, they're pretty strict now. And you know, when they permanently ban you, there, there's no amount of begging you can do to get back on. And what's interesting from what I saw is that from YouTube, I went and checked his Jack Dory's YouTube channel, and of course, there was nothing on there about the accident. There was a lot. On there about I almost died, you know. And his buddies are getting stitches. And they're talking about the accident. You're like, oh, we almost died on the freeway because I was being a dumbass. By the way, today's coffee cup is this nice little travel mug. It's an orange travel mug. Orange is my favorite color. And I, and I picked a travel mug for a particular reason because when you're driving, you want a travel mug. And that's what you know, Jack, you know, for Jack Doherty, his, his hijinks in his car. Goodbye. But yeah. So he loses that one stream of income. He still has all the rest. I, I you know, from, from his standpoint, okay, yeah, I, I lost my $200,000 McLaren. I've still got all my other cars. 
no big deal. I'll recover. I'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, I got, I'm no longer on kick. I'll get on one of these other streamers. I'll make more money doing from one of these other places. Ah, oh, no big deal. Well, it does kind of get worse. All right, for Jack. Now let's let's go back a ways and talk about an incident that happened last year. All right, because Jack Doherty has a lawsuit to deal with, and if there's anything in the planet Earth that basically is a detriment to anybody's wallet, it's a lawsuit. Whether you know, and it, it can be any, it can be divorce. I've seen more guys go broke over divorce than I've seen anything else. But let's look at this. So, um, but let's get, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the crash for, for a minute. We'll get into the other thing. It's from Angela Yang. This is from, uh, again, NBC News. Internet first night Jack Doherty crashed his $200,000 McLaren during a live stream this weekend after appearing to look at his phone while driving in the rain. A YouTuber with nearly 15 million subscribers, Doherty, 20 years old, is known online for his controversial prank videos and wealth flaunting. Yeah. He streamed the crash on Kick, where his channel was banned following the incident. We just talked about that. A clip, a clip of the stream has circulated online, appearing to show Doherty seemingly speeding on a wet highway while glancing down at the phone in his hand before exclaiming, No, 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 as he lost control of his car and veered into the guardrail. Doherty also shared clips of the aftermath, including a video of him screaming for help. If you've seen that, that is that is the most crazy thing. So there's actually a clip. I don't know where it came from. Because in the initial you when the initial accident we saw, it, it, it goes from the accident and then you see him outside. All right. But there's another clip where it looks like people you see like, help, help. Help! And people are like pulling the doors open. And he's like, and he's getting out like it, like he's being like, you know, it's like be like he's like he's almost being birthed out of that car. Like, oh my gosh, I I can't believe I'm still alive. Um, yeah, that's crazy as crap. Um, Derek Doherty has also shared clips of the aftermath, including a video of him screaming for help inside the vehicle immediately after the crash. I said that. Talk about that. In the video, he asked one of the rescuers to hold the camera for him as a group of bystanders dragged him out of the window. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. Um, viewers quickly criticized the streamer for appearing to be more concerned about this total McLaren than his cameraman in the passenger seat who appeared to be to still be inside the car, clutching his arm and bleeding from his head. Doherty also shared a clip of the two sitting in the hospital room, I talked about that, where his cameraman getting stitches on his head. Some online noted, however, that he did not re-upload the full footage of his behavior leading to the crash. Representatives for Doherty did not immediately respond to it. Request for comment. Another clip that circulated online showed Doherty bemoaning his wrecked car while the camera while handing the camera to his still bleeding cameraman, telling Michael, here, Michael, do you have your film on that phone too? Yeah, it's like, <sighs> yeah, that's kind of the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's like, you know, he's talking to him, oh, my, my car, dude. Oh, I can't believe it. Here, hold my, hold the camera. Hold the, you got the shot. I hope you got the shot. Ah. Uh, get back to this for a minute. Um, excuse me. Soon after the incident went viral, and Sarah Doherty's account disappeared from Kick. A spokesperson for the streaming account said Kick does not condone illegal activity, which is why we swiftly took action to ban this creator from the platform. The content of the stream appears to have violated several of Kick's community guidelines, including the direction to prioritize your safety and the safety of those around you by avoiding dangerous behavior. Wrecking his McLaren was the latest incident in which Doherty has crashed a vehicle on camera. Get this, people. In March, the content creator shared a video of himself accidentally flipping over his new Can-Am off-road vehicle 30 seconds after getting it. He later posted a photo of his injured arm asking his followers whether he should go to the hospital. 
In November, Doherty faced similarly heavy criticism for crashing a golf cart he was driving with his girlfriend in it, flipping the cart in her direction. In a video he posted on YouTube, he was seen lifting the golf cart off of her and apologizing. This gets better. I literally thought I just broke your effing neck. I tried to hold it, Doherty said in the video. Golf cart's fine, though. Well, that's good. The golf cart's fine. Nice to know the golf cart's fine. As for the McLaren, Doherty had bought the now total vehicle last year for more than $250,000, less than a month after also purchasing a Lamborghini to Tesla. According to a YouTube video uploaded last June, while driving his brand new convertible for the first time, Doherty joked in the video that he's going to crash this car, mark my words. Yeah. I don't know what much else to say. I mean, you know, th this this was bound to happen. Um, it, and it just continues to show the immaturity of Jack Dory. Um, and it just this just for what I just read. Excuse me. He becomes a prime example of why young people should not become content creators. Or at the very least, you know, they shouldn't become so rich so fast. The dude has more money than he knows what to do with. He's buying all these expensive cars. He's doing what a normal 20-year-old does, which is buy an expensive car, go out, drive it, wreck it. And, and the problem is, is that he's also putting other people in danger. The idea that you would flip a golf cart with your girlfriend in it and be more concerned with the golf cart than her, according to the article, I mean, just shows the kind of reckless behavior he has. But I think it's only going to get worse. Again, I talked about the lawsuits for Jack. Let's get on to what I was talking about. This is from TMZ. YouTuber Jack Doherty sued. We're not paying for Halloween KO. Wrong insurance, but yeah, this is this is basically what I was talking about. Jack Doherty doesn't know Jack about insurance, at least according to State Farm. They say his policy doesn't cover him for the lawsuit he's facing for a Halloween fight. Here's the deal. Jack is being sued for assault and battery by a man who claims the YouTuber and his bodyguard beat him up at a party a few days before Halloween last year. In new legal docs obtained by TMZ, State Farm says Jack is trying to use his renter's insurance policy to force the company to defend him in the litigation and possibly cough up any damages that may be owed. Thing is, State Farm says Jack is not actually covered here because... Not only does the policy not cover willful acts that cause bodily harm, he also posted the video of the fight on social media pages and is using the footage as part of his business, which is also not covered under the policy. So Jack here is trying to use his renter's insurance for an incident that didn't happen on his property, which is what renter's insurance is for. Renter's insurance is for stuff that gets that happens and is stolen on a property you rent. That's what renter's insurance is for. If your stuff gets stolen, your renter's insurance covers it. It doesn't cover you for kicking the crap out of somebody. It really doesn't. That's uh here's the video. Let me show this to you one more time. Because this is the bodyguard. This is not Jack. This is the bodyguard. All right, so let's get into this for a minute, all right? So first of all, uh, if you – this is from what I've learned about the incident that partakes in that, you know, 
and that is that apparently Jack Doherty was was not was not invited to a particular Halloween party that he, I guess he thought he deserved to go to. So he flew out. I don't know where Jack lives, but I know he lives on. He he flew out from the East Coast to California to crash this party and bring two bodyguards with him. One, one of which uh, was the guy who who punched out the party goer. Um, let me go over the article and I'll tell you what I find interesting in, in this whole thing. This article is from a, a site called MayaLA.com. Man allegedly attacked by YouTube personalities. Bodyguard alleges new claims. A man who alleges YouTube.com personality Jack Doherty and bodyguard ordered his body uh, and uh, ordered his bodyguard to beat up a man during a live stream 2023 Halloween party is seeking to expand his complaint to allege new claims for unjust enrichment and appropriation of name or likeness. This is, that's a mouthful. Chase Cameron Gardella, who is now a practicing lawyer, oh, well, that explains everything, is the plaintiff in a Van Nuys Superior Court lawsuit filed against Jack Doherty, Doherty, Jack Doherty, LLC, Banger Official, LLC, and the bodyguard, Justin Kane Kong Gosling. Can I just stop for a minute? If you're if you're going if you're going by the moniker Kane Kong, you're either a, a rapper or a professional wrestler, and even then you're not being very original. Kane Kong, seriously, dude. Okay, let's get it back into this. The suit alleges assault, battery, negligence, negligent hiring, retention, supervision, and training, aiding and abetting, and intentional affliction of emotional distress. Uh, in court papers filed Thursday, this was actually this article from about a month ago. So, in court papers filed Thursday with Judge Michael R. Marion, Gardella alleges he learned from recent discovery responses that Doherty and Gosley admitted they were they garnered significant compensation from the videos posting. What that means is is that they got paid really well. They put it online and they got paid really well. That's basically it. Uh, it. Goes on. Indeed, defendants have done the same thing many times. Many uh, same thing many times, according to Gardella's court papers, which allege Doherty has put up shock videos of past altercations he instigated for profit, and that he has twenty two point eight million viewers on multiple platforms. In addition, Gosley has a long history of assault and battery. Gardella alleges in his court papers. According to the suit, last October 28th, Gardella attended a Sherman Oaks Halloween party, and uh, and the early and early the next morning was on the street outside talking to Doherty and Gosley when the latter asked, "What are we doing?" Prompting Doherty to respond, "We're gonna we're gonna fight us versus us two versus you two. All right, go." Then gestured that he and Gosley were going to fight Gardella and a friend who was with the plaintiff. The suit states. Let's finish this up. Moments later, Gosley punched Gardella in the face, causing him to fall and hurt his head, face and neck. The suit filed February 21st states. Doherty live streamed the assault on God Gardella on the platform Kick, and in the hours and days that followed, posted videos of the assault on YouTube, X, and TikTok, where he has a combined 22.8 million followers, the suit alleges. Doherty has a history, both before and after the subject incident, of filming himself harassing, assaulting, and antagonizing members of the public by having his security guards step in to intimidate and assault them if they react to Doherty's harassment, the suit states. So, here's what happened. Jack goes to a a Halloween party he was not invited to. He brings Kane, Kane Kong Gosling, brings the dude along as a bodyguard. He's hired as a bodyguard. Now, if you've seen Jack's other videos, he the, 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 it is exactly correct. He basically harasses other people of the pu of the public. 
I've seen him in this one mall where he has his arm slapped like this and he bumps some dude, the dude turns around and before, you know, anything can be done. Here comes this bodyguard that stands right in between and Jack's like, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? You know why Jack does that? Be it all, to be completely honest, to be completely honest, and there's already been enough, uh, uh, enough language on this video. So who cares? Jack Doherty's a giant pussy. Jack Doherty, I'm going to say it, Jack Doherty is a giant pussy. There have been other times where people have gone up to him to fight him. And he just cowers and looks for one of his bodyguards and looks for a friend so that he doesn't, because he doesn't want to fight. No. Because in all honesty, Jack Doherty would probably get his ass beat from here to, to there. My daughter could probably kick his ass. I am going to be completely upfront and honest about this. Jack Doherty basically hires people to do his own fighting. And that's exactly what happened here. This dude, and I, I mean, in, in, from what is being said, Jack basically says, we're going to fight. And the dude probably got off a punch before, you know, anything could happen. And not only that, he hires a guy who's known for assault and battery. He hires a guy to be one of his bodyguards who has a rap sheet that includes assault and battery. All right. I don't think Jack understands this, but when you hire somebody, you're responsible for their actions. Which means you can pretty much go to jail for assault and battery, just like the other guy did who did it, and you don't have to lift a finger. At least, if, well, from what I remember of the law, if I hire somebody, that that just he and the dude dude just hold off and cold cock this guy. He was there was no threat there. If you've seen the I've played the video twice, you don't see this dude jump up, get in his face, do anything. He's just standing there, and the dude goes pow. And you know it, and, and and here's one of the other things. I don't even buy the fact that you know Jack. I've heard Jack say. That, that it was self-defense. Self-defense? From what is being said, you instigated this dude. You said we're going to fight. Us two against you two. Let's go. I, I remember watching this one video where Jack Doherty is getting kicked out of a Walmart by, by one of the employees, and all of a sudden you hear him screaming like a little girl. For, for his bodyguard, Steve, 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 Steve. Let us, <laughs> and the reason why I think Jack Doherty's done, financially he's done, because he took the footage that he made off this assault, and he made money on it. He made money on it. You don't think Gardella is going to sit there and go, look, I got hit in the face, and they're making money on it. And not only is he going to claim some of the money that's being used, you know, off the different streaming platforms, and I'm sure Jack will, give me, will, 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 will consult with an attorney, and the attorney will go, you'll need to pull that footage right now. You'll, you'll need to delete that footage off of, of social media right now. Who knows how much money Jack has made off that? Seriously, I mean, who knows? And then not only, you know, has he made money on it, but I'm sure he's also going to find himself paying for damages. The, you know, Gardella does not look like he's any threat to Gosley at all. He doesn't look like he, he doesn't have his hands up. 
He does not lean forward. He's not doing anything. And Gosley just up and, and just decks him. Just, just decks him for no reason. And you know it wasn't planned because of the expression on everybody else's face standing there. I think Jack Doherty had a plan to go there and cause a lot of crap and get it all on live stream so he can make money off of it. You know, at the expense of everybody else. And then, you know, try to claim he's the victim. I just recently saw a video. Of, I haven't really watched it. I just saw it on his channel where he claims he's broke. I'm broke. No, you're not, dude. You can take any one of those cars and sell them. You're not broke. You're going to be broke very quickly. You're going to be broke. Because you'll be paying attorneys for you and them. You'll be paying, you know, all kinds of damages. Because you hired a guy you shouldn't have hired. And then and that guy went off the rails. And you didn't even step in. What makes it even worse? You didn't even bother to step in. Say, oh, oh do, do, do. No, no, no. No, you just filmed everything and made money off of it. What I think is going to be even worse is that if, if Jack goes broke, Jack's going to go broke. Jack, I, I will predict this. Jack Doherty's going to go broke. And then the only way he'll be able to try to recoup any semblance of money that he used to have is that he'll actually have to go back to what he did before, which is make YouTube videos of harassing people, hoping that we'll, hoping that we'll come back and watch. The thing of it is, is that I, I believe if kick is kick, I think is probably the first one to, to take a bold stance and kick him off. Don't be surprised if the same thing starts happening on his other platforms, if he keeps this up. If, I will say this, probably probably for YouTube specifically. If it's found out that he was personally involved in the incident between Gosley and Gardella, I think YouTube has a cause to ban him. Maybe not a permanent ban, but ban him for a while. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I've gone a little over. I just wanted to give my two cents in on this because I truly believe that um, Jack Doherty's done, not for particularly the reasons why we all think he's going to be done, but because he's just going to start losing money for all the stuff he's doing. And, and one of these days we'll drive up to McDonald's and see him standing there like, you want fries with this? All right. Thank you for watching on with the show again. My name is Goose. Uh, I really appreciate you hanging on, watching to, toward the end of the video. Uh, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Give me a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Uh, give me a comment. Tell me what you think. Give me. Let me know if you think. If, am I off? Do you think that this is that you know Jack? You also think Jack's done because I think he's done. And share this out to other people because I want to get because again I want to know what other people think about this whole whole crazy incident. Again, I know I'm late to this whole topic, but I wanted to make sure that I had everything kind of ready to go for this. Um, I do have another video that I'm going to be recording later on this week because I'm going to be talking about the end of Velma, um, <laughs> which uh, I had hopefully you know, I, I was actually shocked and surprised that they actually did a Halloween special. But I think that Halloween special is the actual end of the series for Velma. Uh, at least let's hope so. Because I'll talk more about it on the next video. But again, thank you very much for watching on with the show. I am Goose. I'll see you on the other side.